Well, it's that time of the month again. Keto Crate time. And we will open up the March Keto Crate right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so it is march and it is time to open up the march edition of keto crate and we are not taking any chances with being pinched <laughs> i've got green you've got green background green we're safe yeah we're kind of blending in with the background so that's fine if you don't know what a keto crate is keto crate is a monthly subscription box it comes with like 10 to 12 goodies in here different types of keto treats snacks meat sticks things like that mm -hmm. it's a great way to try some of the different products on the market without having to buy like an entire case of them exactly and i like the variety there's usually something sweet there's usually something savory i mean it's just a lot of fun stuff yeah the other way you can use it is the way we like to use it is say like this is our treat for the month we get this one and we get the other box and when that's gone our treat for the month are gone and it allows us to control ourselves just a little bit i like that and they put a fence around the products there you know there's some rules to getting into this box yeah so everything has to be less than five net carbs it can't contain maltitol and it also if it has soy it has to be very very low on the ingredient list yeah. so if you're interested in the keto crate there's a link down below you can also use the code two crazy ketos that'll get you i believe ten dollars off of your first box in addition, every month Keto Crate gives us one to give away. So That's at the exciting. end of this video, we will tell you how you could win your own. You just have to live in the United States. Yeah. That's the first rule. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So one thing I do like about Keto Crate, right up on the top, they have included this card again. They used to do this and they took it away. Now they've put it back in here. Thank you for so bringing it back. There's different things in here like some recipes, a members only shop. So different items in here, you can go onto their website and buy extras of them at free shipping and a discounted cost. There's also a success story in here. So it's a really cool thing. Yeah. Now, the way we do the Keto Crate, if you're new to our channel, is what we're going to do is we're going to go over each item in here. We talk about the ingredients, mm -hmm. the nutrition label, like what the macros are. And then we also will tell you how much it costs based on the Crate Club website. Sometimes you can find it cheaper on Amazon or directly from the company. Yeah. And uh, we also pick one thing at the end and try it out. Exciting. Okay, first thing that we've got is the Lenny and Larry's Keto Cookie. A new keto cookie. We have not tried this. I know they've got some protein cookies that our sons used to get all the time. Oh, yeah. But I've not tried the keto cookie. Unfortunately, the ingredients are below the fold, so I've kind of got to rip this open a little bit to get to it. So the ingredients in this are grain-free flour blend which is lupin flour and almond flour. Neat. Organic erythritol, almonds, uh, almond butter. Sorry, it's like all screwed up. Uh, pea protein, coconut oil, palm fruit oil, chicory root fiber, vegetable glycerin, semi-sweet chocolate chips, which are sugar, chocolate liqueur, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, and natural vanilla extract. Sunflower lecithin, uh, cacao nibs, xanthan gum, natural flavors, baking soda, gum acacia, Steviocide, which is stevia, mixed tofurols, and it says allergens contains lupin and almonds. Lupin is a bean. So, so. there's sugar in the chocolate, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips has sugar. But I do I'm like the fact that. that there are at least listing sugar because there have been other keto cookie companies that were using sugared chocolate chips and then not telling you that. So I That's at least shady. like the fact that they're telling us this. Okay, so... Um, the ingredients in this are the serving size rather is one cookie and I have to say good size cookie it's a big cookie that's a pretty decent cookie compared to some of the other ones I've seen 190 calories 15 grams of fat 8 total carbo oh, 8 grams of protein 15 total carbohydrates 5 grams of dietary fiber 7 sugar alcohols which is what making three it 3 net carbs. net carbs that is a lot of carbohydrates in one cookie at least for me um, but 
we will try it. So it does nothing on the back. Grain free, gluten free, protein, no soy, no dairy, non GMO, project verified, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, sustainable palm oil. So maybe it's something more for the kiddos. Yeah. Their yep. lunch. But we'll try it out. That's first thing. I am intrigued by this box. What is it? It is ketosis cups, almond espresso chocolate keto cups. Nice. How neat is that? So there's two keto cups inside of this package. The ingredients are cocoa butter, almond butter, erythritol, steviol glycosides or stevia. stevia, almonds, cocoa powder, coffee beans, and salt. So there's two servings per container. One piece is 150 calories, 15 grams of fat, two grams of protein, nine total carbohydrates, two dietary fiber, and five sugar alcohol. So you're looking at two net carbs. Did we talk about how much that was? Oh, I'm sorry. Price on that is, a uh, price on the cookie is $2. Oh, and then just to give you an idea. Those are pretty big. Looks like a good size Reese cup. It's pretty bad, but that thick. Some, some, it's very thick, somewhere between a regular size Reese cup and a mini. Okay, so price on that is $3.99. We're going to put that to the side because that may be... That may be what we're trying. What we're trying. Okay, next up, Kiss My Keto. Kiss My Keto. We have had these before. This is their chocolate bar. Delicious. This is a sweet, sweetened with stevia infused with MCT. This is the pumpkin seeds and sea salt, which we actually really enjoyed this one. I love that one because it's got the perfect blend of chocolatey sweetness and the salt. Now they do have a little bit of copy on the back here. It says, hey there, finding delicious high fat snacks on the go was always a challenge for us. So we created Kiss My Keto. Our goal was to create chocolate with the perfect balance of fat to keep you full and satisfied with zero added sugars with uncompromising ingredients and sustained energy from good fats like MCTs we know you're going to enjoy our chocolate and are excited to share our keto and low carb journey with you. Awesome. Okay, the ingredients in this are unsweetened chocolate, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, pumpkin seeds, medium chain triglycerides, and it contains less than 2% of salt, natural vanilla flavor, stevia, sodium cassonate, and sunflower lecithin. So it has super, super clean ingredients. Some of the cleanest ingredients in a chocolate bar. And it's tasty, yep. P.S. So there are three servings in this bar and they it's actually a very large bar and it's pretty thick. It's not like a thin Hershey bar. I know, you're thinking it's one. I can totally eat that whole thing, but, but it's really good. But we used to at least divide it in two. Yeah. Where we'd eat, but I mean, I'd say the bar is about that thing. It's probably twice as thick as a normal Hershey bar. Right. So closer to, what was the one with the almond? Remember the, the thicker one that they had? Yeah. Okay, so there is 130 calories per serving. So if you eat the entire bar, it's 390 calories. It is, oh, and they actually tell you per container. So we're going to tell both. God bless. 13 grams of fat for one serving, 38 grams of fat for the whole bar. Two grams of protein for one serving, six grams for the whole bar. Mm -hmm. 12 total carbohydrates if you drink eat one serving. 37 total if you eat the whole bar. That's okay. that's where you're like, I'm not eating the whole bar. Yeah. Either. Seven fiber per serving, 20 for the whole bar, which makes it 60. Um, four grams of erythritol per serving, 13 for the whole bar. So what does that come out to be? So 12 minus seven minus four. So that's what? 11? So they yeah. should have it on the so, front. So 11, one net carb per serving? Yeah. One net carb per, so if you eat the entire bar, it's three net carbs, but you would be eating 37 total carbs, which honestly would be like at the cap of our total carbs for the day. Right. So even when we do a net carb, we do like 20 net, no more than 30 to 40 total carbs for the day, just to make sure we don't overeat stuff like this. But if you're just gonna eat meat and chocolate, that sounds like a good day to me. Sounds like a good day. You're up. I'm up, and I'm going to go with Pork and Good. Pork and Good. They're Pork and Good. Ooh. That is a flavor we have not had. Flavored chicharrones, and this, this is nacho cheddar. Ooh. This is my cheddar. This is nacho cheddar. Okay. Let's get into the ingredients because Let's see. I'm always hesitant when I see flavored pork rinds. So we've got pork rinds cooked in pork fat, which is That's awesome. Plus. Cheese powder made of whey and cheddar cheese. Pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt, and enzymes. There's sunflower oil, disodium phosphate, autolyzed yeast extract, annatto and turmeric extract for color, lactic acid, citric acid, natural flavors, 
autolyzed yeast, garlic powder, salt, dehydrated garlic, and spices. Okay. Actually so, pretty pleased. Not too bad. No maltodextrin, but I'm just one of the just look. So the sunflower oil, why if they're cooked in their own pork fat, why does it have sunflower oil? That's kind of weird. It's it, not part of the I was looking at it, it's not part of the cheese powder. I have a feeling it's probably something that they put on it to like make the seasoning stick. Could be. After the process of cooking. So, so I'm going to give the ingredients like a 50-50. 50-50 because we're not sure about that oil. Um, okay, so there's four servings in this bag, which is a total joke and goes not back happening. to that video that we talked about where it can kind of get away from Yeah, that. if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it over Rachel's head. Just 12 things that they're keto foods, but you have to find the place to put them in your life because you can overeat them. And one of them is pork Pork rinds, rinds because I will totally eat this as one bag. I'm eating that whole bag. Yeah. But anyway, so there's uh, each serving is 90 calories, uh, five grams of fat, eight grams of protein, zero total carbohydrates, and and that's it, zero. So now the one thing I'm gonna say right off the bat, okay, with this, and I will definitely eat this bag. So if you eat the whole bag, let's be real. About you're, four. You're eating four carbs. servings, so you're eating 360 calories. You're eating what eight times four, 32 grams of protein and 20 grams of fat. Um, I don't believe the zero carbohydrates. Remember, they get to round down. I'm gonna tell you each serving is probably about a half a carb because it has to. It's got a cheese powder in there. There's right. gotta be some carbs in there. Figure you're eating two to four carbs when you eat this. Yeah. Do not look at it and go, I'm eating zero carbs so I can eat the whole bag. If you eat this whole bag, you're at least having two carbs. My opinion is always round up, don't round down. When but, you round it up, you're not gonna get in trouble. But I'm actually really excited for this flavor. I definitely wanna try that. We may be trying two things today. Next up, the fat, fat bar. Fat bar. We actually have seen this before. Yes. If memory serves, we didn't like it. What flavor is that? This is caramel and sea salt. Okay, I think this is the one that we tried that was the coffee flavor. Okay, so yes. So we weren't a huge fan of the coffee flavor. I have a feeling caramel and sea salt will be better. Okay, well on the back there's some copy. It says, tempted, you should be. I'm a delicious chewy snack bar. Uh, packed full of nutritious nuts, keto friendly, zero added sweeteners, and high in prebiotic fiber. Eat me any time of a day for a hint of sustainable energy. I almost want to try this just because, like, seriously, I think that this is a good bar macro wise. It's just the coffee one might have been not okay. as tasty. Ingredients are chicory root extract, um, which is a fiber. I don't like the fact that it's the first ingredient, which means it's a lot of it. And they even said it's packed with a lot of prebiotic fiber. Right. Almonds, macadamia nuts, pecan nuts, water, inulin, natural flavoring. Contains tree nuts, almonds, macadamia nuts, pecan nuts. May contain traces of other nuts and tree nuts, sesame seeds, milk, soy, and cereal containing gluten and or wheat. Okay, so biggest problem that I'm gonna have with this, and we maybe we will try, but first ingredient is chicory root extract which means they're using it as a sweetener because there is no sweetener. So I wouldn't necessarily deduct all of this fiber. But so it says Nutrition Facts is one bar. It is a small bar. It is very tiny. Uh, 141 calories. It is 11 grams of fat, 2.7 grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates. Which is a lot for that little bar. 10 grams of fiber. Mm. And uh, no sugar alcohol. So they're saying it's two net carbs. This bar is about half the size of most keto bars, like including this one right here. Yeah. Half the size. And uh, yeah, 10 that. So it's 10 total carbohydrates and it's mostly fi uh, 12 total carbohydrates and 10 grams of fiber. That's a lot of fiber. I think we got so excited about seeing what was next that we didn't say how much the pork and good You're right. ones were. Okay. So the. Okay, well, the pork and good, these two dollars and fifty cents a bag, two forty nine, and they do give you a fifteen percent off uh, code, three dollars a bar. I definitely don't think this is worth three dollars a bar. I don't either. That's at the same price as pretty much every other bar on the market, three to three fifty a bar, and they're twice the size and don't have as many carbs or fiber. Right. Next so I'm, up, I'm going right going to, to the, the bottom. bottom. Chalk Zero. Chalk Zero. Keto Bark Pecan Flavor or Pecan. I don't think we've had this one. I'm super excited about this because okay. Chalk Zero is awesome. I just have to pause and say that we're only halfway through the box and this has got to be the best box I've ever seen from Keto Crate. Yeah, it's there's no so kidding. Much. Like I want to try everything in this box. Yeah, there isn't anything that I don't want to try. 
Um, okay, so Chalk Zero, it says the ingredients are milk chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate and cocoa butter, whole milk powder, soluble corn fiber, pecan, monk fruit extract, sunflower lecithin, Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans, and it says it does contain milk. So a serving size is one ounce. There's six servings in this bag, which is, they're pretty generous mm -hmm. servings. Um, one ounce is in a serving size. Calories are 140 calories per serving, 13 grams of fat, one gram of protein, 10 total carbs, seven dietary fiber. So you're looking at what? Three net carbs per serving. I really like this. This is one of my favorite chocolates, but even though we're not gonna try this, we haven't tried this flavor. The thing that I like about the Chalk Zero is this. Individual serving that sizes. This has individual serving, so it's not possible to overdo. Because if this wasn't individually wrapped, I mean, I guess it's always possible, right? It is possible to go back in there for another wrapper, but it's much easier to dole this out. Yeah, like when you compare this to this, I mean, this is great, but once I open it, I want to eat it. Here, I'm just going to open this and I'm done when it's gone. So I like that too. That is something I love about it. Always like the Chalk Zero products. Great for lunches. Next up. I guess, well, we got four things left. Is there no meat bar? <gasps> How is there no meat bar? There's no meat bar. Oh, no Chalk meats? Zero, $6.99. There's no meat? No meat. It's okay, I make lamb. This is the Ketology Keto Bar. I don't think I have ever tried this bar. So this is the chocolate almond butter flavor. Sounds like a good flavor. Ingredients in this are protein, which is whey protein isolate, collagen hydrolysate, milk protein isolate, chicory fiber, almonds, cocoa butter, alkalized cocoa, cashew butter, which is cashews, coconut oil, natural flavor, sunflower lecithin, milled flax, sea salt, stevia extract, and monk fruit extract. Sounds good. Not too bad. There's a little copy that says, our delicious bars are made to suit a ketogenic diet and therefore contain high levels of natural fats for optimal enjoyment store in a cool, dry place. I have learned that with a lot of the keto bars, including my favorite, which are keto bars, um, when you let them sit on your shelf too long, like I've had boxes like on my shelf for six months, yeah, the bar gets a little hard. It gets like hard like a piece of, like, what was that? What was that? Jolly Rancher candies. Yes. It gets hard. So what I've started to do, because I don't eat them as fast as I will buy them sometimes, um, I store them in the freezer. And this way you take it out. Once it defrosts, it kind of gets that gooiness back. So right. When you get these high fat bars, sometimes it's better to store them in the freezer or the fridge. Servings per container is one, 240 calories per serving, 17 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, 14 total carbohydrates, 11 grams of fiber. So three net carbs. It is a little high in fiber. I mean, they are playing that fiber game. So most of it is fiber. So just something to be aware of. Yep. Price on this, $3.29, right in line with all the other bars. So next up is Wisps. Wisps. One of my favorite things, I love cheese snacks. And this is Parmesan cheese crisps. So in this bag are Parmesan cheese, which is made of pasteurized, part-skimmed cow's milk, cheese cultures, sea salt, and enzymes, and that is it. Great company. So about uh, two servings per container, which I think is really generous. You get about 23 crisps in a serving. Each serving is 150 calories, 10 grams of fat, uh, 13 grams of protein, one total carb, and no fiber. So yeah, one net carb per serving. Front porch pecans. Front porch. Sea salt flavor. Okay, so there's a bunch of, some copy on the back, which I'm not going to read because it's kind of long, but it's kind of cool where they get the nuts from. Okay, so the ingredients in this are pecans and peanut oil and sea salt. Nice. So unfortunately, they are roasting it in peanut oil, which I wish they weren't, but uh, I also know they're trying to add that, get the salt to stick to it. Yeah. So the servings per container, four in this bag, which, okay. If it's not Rachel, probably four. 14 pieces per serving, which is 30 grams, 22, uh, 210 calories, 22 grams of fat, two grams of protein, four total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, which makes it one net carb. Again, another one of those things, super easy to overdo. So if you eat this entire bag, you're looking at 840 calories, you're looking at 88 grams of fat, and you're looking at what? 
16 total carbohydrates. So we're not going to be afraid of it. We're nope. going to enjoy these tasty snacks. Yep. Just look at the serving size and put them into individual yep. bags. Measure them out. Take a couple. Maybe, you know, take a few and then hide them from yourself for the rest of the day. Something like that. Well, I like to just buy snack bags at the Dollar Tree mm -hmm. that are like, no kidding, like snack size bags. Not sandwich size bags, but snack size bags. And put them into, you know, individual servings. Yep. And that way... I don't have to worry. You got the last thing. IQ bar. Because I have such a high IQ, obviously, right? <laughs> oh, $5.99 a bag. So let's see what's in this bar. It is, doesn't say what flavor Peanut it is. Peanut butter chips. Oh, yes it does. <laughs> Turns out my IQ is not as high as we thought. Okay, so the ingredients are soluble tapioca fiber, almonds, pe peanuts, protein crisp, which is made of pea protein, pea starch, rice flour, pea protein, allulose, chocolate chips, which are made from chocolate, allulose, cocoa butter, gum acacia, peanut flour, water, flax seeds, coconut oil, sea salt, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors, uh, stevia plant extract, lion's mane extract, and natural vitamin E. Let's see. There's 160 calories in this bar, 9 grams of fats, and let's see, where's where's my protein? 11 grams of protein, 19 total carbs. Not loving that. Nine grams of fiber, so that brings it down to 10. And it says zero sugar alcohol. No, it doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry. It's right here. I see the allulose on the yeah. side is six. So it's four net carbs. Yeah. Four net carbs for a bar. I've had the IQ bars before. To me, they're okay. Not one of my favorites. And because the fiber is a little bit higher, it's not something I would normally buy. But when they come in here, I will eat them. Yeah, I was going to say, at least you can try them. Yeah. So pretty much, I think this was a great crate. The only things that for me... How much is this guy? Oh, $2 and... I just had it. Oop, I see him. $2.50. So out of all the things in here, the only things that I'm not usually a giant fan of are these two things. But mm -hmm. everything else in here, I am like super excited. And I'll eat these, just not like high on my list. These are not like rebuys for me. It's like they show up in a crate, I'll eat them, but I'm not buying them. Right. Okay. What are we trying? I definitely want to try the Ketosis Cups, to be yeah, honest. I definitely want to try that. Do we want to try this? Or do we want to try this? Um, well, since we're trying something sweet, let's try the pork rinds. Pork rinds? Nacho cheddar. This is nacho cheddar. So when... Smells like pork rinds. So again, there are... Very gamey. Four... Can I have a paper towel? Sure. So again, just what we're talking about, there's four servings in this bag. I'm gonna go back in for more, there's, de more there's dusted. Maybe 20 pork rinds in this bag. I want this more. I want the cigarette. You want the cigarette? The pork rind cigarette. So yeah, I would say there's maybe 20 pork. Oh, here's another one. There's maybe 20 pork rinds in here. So that is just something to think about. So I'm eating this whole bag. I'm telling you now. Yeah, absolutely. I'm eating the whole bag. Ready? Mmm. The pork and good brand has really mastered taste because you taste that like buttery, cheesy, nacho cheese flavor mm -hmm. all through it. That's delicious. That has got good flavor, a lot of flavor. Mm. I like that. That is good. That is really good. We're gonna be finishing this bag for lunch today. I'm that is awesome. Try it because pork rinds, let's face it, once you open pork rinds, if you can seal it really well, you got a day. After Serious. that, you don't want to eat them anymore. No, they go like very stale. So that will be lunch. Maybe with some chicken salad. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, so we're going to finish up with these. Dessert. By the way, pork, pork and good also, you can buy a jug of pork rind like grounds. Really? So that you can do like, you Pop know. Pop them yourself? Well, no, so grounds. So that you can like bread your chicken or something like oh, that. Oh, nice. We could probably split one of these guys. Do you want to split it yeah. or do you want a whole one? I guess we should should split Let's it. Let's just right? split it. Can't open the bag. Technical difficulties. Okay. So, oh, it's got a little paper thing and everything. Just like a Reese cup. Okay. I'll give you an idea of it. It's pretty thick. Nice and thick. I'm looking that we have a knife. 
Do not cut it in half with that. Can I use my Grandpa Joe letter opener? Yeah, probably that'll work. Just don't use your box cutter. Nice. So there's ready? definitely nuts all throughout it. Goes, it. Yeah, throughout the entire thing. Not just on top. Ready? Yeah. That's nice. I definitely taste the erythritol. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a cooling effect there. I'm not sure if it's super coffee flavor. It tastes chocolatey. I like the almonds. Right? It's kind of like, I mean, I guess there's a chocolate flavor to it, but more like a dark chocolate flavor. Okay. Want my opinion? Mm-hmm. It's not bad. I wouldn't buy it. So. I like getting to try it. I like trying it. It's not bad at all, but I wouldn't buy it based on the price. I mean, this is $4, so it's $2 per cup. Wow. The erythritol makes it grainy. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit of a cooling effect. I mean, tell me if you think I'm yeah. wrong. Yeah, no, it's, it's got a little bit of a cooling effect. The I thought the graininess was coffee, but it's not. It's erythritol. Yeah. So you've got that graininess from the erythritol. And... It's got a hint of coffee, but not as much as I was looking for. It's more like a dark chocolate. When you call it almond espresso, I'm thinking espresso with a hint of chocolate. And this is chocolate with a hint of espresso. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It is. That's exactly what I'm getting. So not bad. We'll definitely enjoy the other one. But I don't know if I would buy it based on the price. I do like the fact that it is loaded with actual stuff in it. Yeah. It's not just like a melt in your mouth. Where it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's really good. But like you said, the price point may make it prohibitive to buy it on its own. So it's nice to get it in the keto crate so you get to try it. And it's just enough. Yep. Now we actually have a keto crate to give away. We sure do. And in order to win, all you have to do is live in the United States, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. Any comment will do. Yeah. Now, if you do want to leave a comment but don't want to uh, you know, win the crate, just make part of your comment, hey, I'm not interested in winning the crate. And this way you can comment on one of the products or whatever, but still not be entered into the draw. Exactly. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to announce the winner one week from today on Friday, which is March 13th. I'll put it right here along the bottom of the Friday screen. Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th. We will announce the winner on that day. All you'll have to do is send us your information, and then we'll get a hold of Keto Crate, and they will send it right out to you. So please do us a favor. Down in the comment section, let us know which of these products you would be interested in, and if you've tried any of them, let us know. So please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.